Uh, we are joined by Dr. by Dr. Jack Shire from Charlotte Plastic Surgery. Appreciate you coming in, doctor, to talk more uh, about this. Uh, are you seeing this in your practice? We are seeing it to a certain degree. There's patients coming in with pictures that are altered on social media saying this is the uh, intended appearance yeah. I'd like to achieve. And the important thing is, is to understand what they're trying to achieve and sort of make them understand that this is a digitally altered photo, whether it be through a filter, Photoshop, or what have yeah. you. And then we try to let them know, hey, this is this is sort of blending the, the juncture between reality and fantasy. And these are not intended to be before and after photos. So we need to redirect and make them understand, hey, this is not exactly what we're going to achieve here or the goal of the procedure. Do you actually have people bringing in their cell phones and saying, I want to look like this? We do occasionally. I, I won't say that happens often. Yeah. but And when we do, we try to make sure we talk to those people in a very candid and have a frank discussion so they understand what the goals of the procedure are and it's something that can be achieved. Yeah, I want to ask more about this Snapchat dysmorphia issue. What are the signs? What are some of the things you are thinking about as someone comes in? Well, I think it's a person that brings in a, bef a picture that's been altered yeah. and you explain to them that, you know, this is not a, a result that can be achieved with a procedure or surgery that's not willing to accept that. And I think that's a, a sign that this patient is not going to be happy with the mm. procedure or surgical candidate that they even desire. So to that person, we don't generally offer them a procedure because in the end, they're not going to be happy. Yeah, how do you handle that? What, what do you tell them when they come in and you just feel like this is not a good idea? Well, the first thing to do is not be judgmental. You need to be empathetic. And the most important thing as a surgeon is to educate patients. And that's what we try to do even with all patients we see. And, and we do that to the best of our ability. Yeah, I talk about that, the protocols that you kind of have to go through before you even decide whether you're going to take a patient on. Well, first thing we always want to do is make sure they have realistic expectations. That if they don't, then that's a problem. Mm -hmm. We need to make sure that what the goal of the surgery is is what we can achieve. And we make sure of that by sometimes we ask patients to bring in pictures of uh, before and afters of patients that have had surgery. Uh, that can also give a, a road map of what we're trying to achieve. And we ask them to find pictures of, of patients that look like themselves. But generally just bringing a selfie of before and after is something that we don't routinely do. Uh, are you seeing an age difference over the years? Are younger people coming in for this sort of thing? I will say that most of the patients that are on social media that come in with these type of pictures are in the younger age group, but I think that reflects uh, somewhat the user profile of, yeah. of most uh, people using these, these apps. Yeah, how do you balance this? Because obviously sometimes plastic surgeries, it's a medical uh, necessity, right? Or perhaps you've had an accident, you're trying to, you know, get rid of a scar, uh, that sort of thing, versus something that's more vain, I, I guess, if yeah. you will. So, so uh, how do you handle that balance as a doctor to have that conversation with a patient? Well, I think it's like we talked about before, it's sort of making sure that what we're going to do is in line with what can be achieved. And at the end, you know, cosmetic surgery is pure elective and you have to make sure the patient understands that and at the same time if what they want is something that's completely out of order with what they're gonna get you need yeah. to make them aware of that because that patient is not gonna be happy A fascinating conversation dr. Jack Shire from Charlotte plastic surgery thanks for coming in really do uh, appreciate it oh.